you're amazing with all these tricks. Is there something an average guy? Is right. there something you could teach us that like just a, some sort of trick or illusion that you can maybe teach us that we could pull out of the bar and try to impress a woman? We have some Luxor matches right here. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to pull anyone out. All right. Not at all. From the Luxor. Here we go. Paper matches. Pull one out. Yeah. You see the match? Yep. Yeah. I go like this. The match just vanishes just like this. You go back and it comes right back. All right, now I'm going to reveal how it works so you can learn how to do it. Here, this is what it looks like. You have the mask, you go boom, and it vanishes just like this. You reach up, it comes right back. The way it works, you lick your finger like this. It sticks to the back of your finger, and your finger works like a hinge. So it creates the illusion that, boom, it vanishes, but in reality, it's on the back. We'll put this on the wow. website. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can this do it. Ready? teacher trick from Secret Revelations, my book, or my DVD set, Mastermind Freaks, you can get on my website. Check it out. I bet you I can pull it off. Look at this. Check it out. See this match? Make this it match? Regular match? All right, slightly like that. Oh. Yeah! Oh! Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know what? Just touch the top of... Just touch one point. Touch, touch one? Just uh, take it out. Don't let me know All what right. it is. Okay. Okay. Um, just play. This is your deck of cards, right? Yeah, we just. Okay, just place it face down, put your hands on it. This is not a card trick. This is understanding people. I've met you a couple of times yeah. now. I think I can get inside your head. I want you to think of the card. You play a little poker? No, uh, not really, All but. Right. Wait, do you yes. have a good poker face? Yes. All right, give me your best poker face. Don't give me any indication of what you're thinking. I'm going to try okay. to get inside your head, and you guys are going to see exactly okay. how I do this, all right? Okay. going to look for little telltale signs, right? Look at me. Don't answer me. Just look at me. Your card's a red card. It's a black card. Okay, if you notice his pattern of blinking, I said a red card, he blinked. When I said a black card, he blinked, blinked. So I'm going to go with the first impression I get. My instinct would say it's a red card. Now, diamonds, hearts. Now, he's laughing harder when I say hearts, so he's trying to throw me. This makes me feel like psychologically that it is a heart, but in reality it's a diamond. So it's a diamond. Now, picture card, number card, number card, picture card. You see him starting to nod when I said, uh, really, uh, <laughs> don't, don't give me an indication. Just really try to fool me. It's a number card. That's what I'm going to go with. Now, don't give me any, just be stone cold with gotcha. me right stone now. Stone cold. Like so Steve Austin. Go, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I don't know if you even saw this, but he had the slightest move when he took us. He swallowed, and his uh, his uh, his Adam's apple just moved just the slightest little bit. So I'm gonna go with my instinct. I could be wrong. If I am, you get what you pay for. Is it the six of diamonds? Is it? Son of a bitch. Is it really? What? <laughs> uh, what that mean? Hey, this is Chris Angel, and you're listening to the Ultimate Mind Freaks, Covino and Rich. Dot com.